I'd like to start this off by saying Merry Christmas Eve to all of you. And, uh, yeah, Merry Christmas Eve. Today I realized, my dad sort of brought it up, but he's like, what did you get your mother? And I'm like, I didn't get anyone anything. And I realized, all right, I sold my books, and I have like a hundred bucks, so I'm going to spend $20 on each of them, and hopefully find something good for each of them. So I'm going Christmas shopping today. But do I know what I'm getting them, or what they want? No. Is that okay? Yes, because it's going to be fun with a thousand billion people shopping at the mall like crackheads. That's what I'm looking forward to. Hope, hope you're having a good Christmas Eve. <laughs> Down? So, that was us at the mall. Uh, we, we went Christmas shopping, sorta. Travis bought some stuff for his mother, and then I don't really know what I'm getting. Uh, so, I should have had more time, and I wish I had more money, because 20 bucks is hard to spend on a good gift. So I'm thinking about just getting gift cards, which I don't like. I hate getting gift cards. I hate giving and getting gift cards because there's no thought involved with a gift card. But I might just give them gift cards. But, but, I'm going to wrap them up in really ridiculous ways so they don't know what it is. Like, it's going to be in, like, a fucking huge box for a gift card. It's going to be good. And then there's, there's Travi. Thinks he's so tough. Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, he's got to go do some Christmas time stuff t tonight, so I don't know what I'm doing tonight, but we'll figure it out. I still got to do more Christmas shopping, too, so gift card shopping correction. So, so most of my Christmas shopping's done. Three Starbucks gift cards, two Subway gift cards, and I got to get something for Aubrey. I didn't get you anything. Wiener. I forgot. What if I just give you a kiss? Huh? Can I give you a kiss? Fuck. <laughs> I gotta go to PetSmart. Alright, so she gets another $20. Do I have another $20? I hope. Alright, that's fair. That's a fair deal. We're gonna... We're not done shopping. This time, Travis... Travis is gonna go have Christmas right now today because his brother's leaving so we'll probably see him later tonight hopefully and uh, I gotta go do some more Christmas shopping solo this time so it'll be good time to wrap Christmas presents So I'm just finishing up my brother and his wife's gift and just wait until I try to open it tomorrow. You'll see because there's rules to it. Just wait. It's good. So I'm done. There's one present and there's the other one. Guess which one I ran out of wrapping paper with. Hmm. Is that lined college ruled paper? All the way around that? Yeah, it took fucking forever. Oh my gosh. But I'm done. Pretty much, so. That's good. Just wait. There's a surprise for each one of them, too. They think... Just wait. I I have a little extra to the gift that you'll see tomorrow. So get excited for tomorrow. And I hope you guys are excited for Christmas. Woo! One thing I would like to say is there's a lot of people out there today listening to Christmas music and tomorrow. You have not been in the spirit at all. I've been listening to Christmas music since the week before Thanksgiving religiously. So you're a casual Christmas music, not a, not a hardcore Christmas, Christmas music listener. Just just have to say that, because there's people, I know, they're out there like, oh, I'm so in the Christmas spirit, you know? I, 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 today I was listening to Christmas music. I'm, I'm, I'm totally in the spirit. Oh, God. No. If you were in the spirit, you'd be... You'd be doing this like a month ago. Come on. And every day. It's good shit. Next year, if, if you guys are casual Christmas music listeners, listen to it from a month before. And then the build-up to now, 
you'll see how exciting this is for me. It's pretty damn exciting because I've been living it for the past month and it's finally here, so. <sighs> Look, more Halloween than these people at the yard. Mm, shit. Let's turn them into cannibals. Jerky. Oh, fucking huge, man. Yeah. I need to come out to that. I want to explain something. The <laughs> whole time we lived in Arizona, my whole entire life, fireworks have been illegal. But now, since the economy or whatever... And we've been arrested. What? Me and him got arrested for fireworks. Oh, okay. But now they're legal. Oh my god, sparklers! It's time to stick it to the man. <laughs> Give me one of those bad puppies. I had my grandparents out here doing this with me too. Yeah, just light it. Just those peppers. Oh my god! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Just does pep me up quite a bit. Hmm? Just does pep me up. Are you serious or joking? I'm serious. Yeah, fireworks have never been legal here our entire lives, so this is awesome. Oops. <laughs> you can show the camera what I got here. Yeah. Well, you got a lot of, lot of... Can you light them off now? Is that loud? Is that loud? No. It's just going to light the grass on fire. And give everyone seizures. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Maybe that's why the cops are coming. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. You can only do them for a week, right? Yeah. What? I'm not sure they're legal <laughs> yet. Yeah, I think we got So we went to Waffle House, ate some food, and then I just got dropped off, and me and Wiener here are gonna spend the night together, right? Merry Christmas Eve, Wiener. Yeah. Well, fun night. Um, I think it's time to retire. I didn't get to look at too many Christmas lights, but I did get to see some while we were driving around in the neighborhoods. I would have liked to drive around for a couple hours and just look at them. Because I remember one time when we were young, we were riding in my dad's. I don't know what the hell he was driving, but we were riding in the back and we were just, we drove around neighborhoods and just looked at Christmas lights. And I swear, maybe it's because I don't remember it or it seemed that way, but I swear there was more people who had Christmas lights up back then than now. But who knows? Um, I still had a good time. It's a good Christmas Eve. Not as cold as I would have hoped, but still awesome um, when I wake up tomorrow it'll be Christmas which that's sort of crazy to think about I remember man when I used to be a little kid Christmas like when we get out of school we'd get like a week off before Christmas and uh, that that whole week would dread and just drag on Christmas would seem like a month away and it, would, and it was only a week and it seemed like forever and now Christmas goes, or the holidays, where Christmas is tomorrow. It's already here. <laughs> Thanks. But yeah, it goes by really fast now. Maybe that's just because we're older. I miss, I miss the, the old times, but now you gotta make good times now. You gotta have stories, so. That's what I'm doing now. And when I watch this dumb video, somewhere down the road, I can laugh back at this moment and be like, oh my gosh. I can't believe you. can't believe you. But, uh, yeah, I'm excited for tomorrow. I really am. I'm, I'm still like a kid in that sense. I'm all jacked up and I don't want to go to bed. Santa's coming soon, actually, so I should probably get to bed. I don't 
I don't want to surprise him when he gets here. I actually looked on the Santa NORAD tracker online to see where he was. <laughs> Come on, everyone does that, right? I hope. All right, I'm done talking. It's been a good Christmas Eve, a fun one. Um, and tomorrow will be Christmas, so good night.